This episode is brought to you by the Let's Code Physics Patreon supporters. So after working with vPython for a little while, you and your students might be getting tired of all of these single colored uh, shapes that are on the screen. We've talked about how to set an object's color, but it's always just kind of, you know, the same color. There's fancy lighting effects, but you know, a white ball is a white ball, a red ball is a red ball, etc. Um, of course, we can change the color. We've reviewed how to do that. I can change it into a into a blue one, um, but you know it still looks, you know, it's kind of boring. It's kind of bland. Um, the textures option allows you to liven things up a little bit. So, for example, instead of specifying a color, you can specify a texture. And GlowScript has several textures already built in. For example, there is textures dot earth. When you run this. Instead of getting a solid overlay, you get the Earth, which is great to put on a sphere here. If you're if you're doing, uh, you know, the motion of the Earth around the Sun or the motion of the Moon around the Earth, you can get an image of the Earth uh, coming along here. And basically, what it's doing is it's accessing a picture of the Earth, uh, an image file, and it's overlaying that image onto the shape here. You can do this with any shape. We can change the sphere, for example, into a cylinder. Uh, it looks kind of funny with the earth stretched out into a cylinder like that. You also notice that on the different edges, it's gonna repeat the image, right? So I've got the image of the earth appearing, appearing here. I've got the image file appearing here. I've got the image file backwards over on this side and then the right direction on this side. So uh, only backwards once on the cylinder there. You could also change it into the box function. Again, with any 3D shape, even with an extrusion, uh, you can use the uh, the texture option instead of color in order to uh, get a little bit more interesting picture here. So you might be wondering what's included in these textures. Well, if you go to the link that I have in a comment over here, you can find all of the built-in textures uh, that's given in a sample program here. Uh, there's textures.flower, gives you a nice pretty picture of a flower there. Textures.granite, textures.gravel, textures.metal, textures.rock, rough, rug, stones, stucco, wood, wood underscore old, and textures.earth. Uh, I tend to like to give the, the, the wood texture, especially if I'm trying to recreate something from, uh, from an experiment that we did in class, uh, just because it was usually like a wood disc or a wood block or something like that. It wraps around nicely. It's a nice 3D rendered uh, shape there. It gives a little bit of texture. The stucco one, I think, makes it look kind of porous. So if, if you're creating a rock or something, you might make it the stucco. See, it looks kind of porous there. It's, of course, it's still flat along the edges there. Um, and again, these work with any of the shapes that we have built in to vPython. So for example, I could get a stucco sphere here. Well, that might be useful for the moon. It's not quite what the moon looks like. You might've noticed there isn't one for the moon. Let's suppose you wanted to have the moon going around the earth. Well, there's no moon texture here. That's where it's useful that you can pull in other image files. Really, vPython can do this with any image files. Each of these textures that's preloaded, they're just image files that are stored uh, in the uh, vPython library. And so as long as you're pulling from a CORS enabled site, and I do not know how to check for that, but if it works, then it must be CORS enabled. If it doesn't work, try to find it somewhere else. Um, you can get other textures. Um, I've got one example of that here from pixel art. Uh, we're gonna create a box with this texture, control two, probably looks familiar to a lot of people. We've got a Minecraft diamond ore here. So this is, uh, I just grabbed an image of uh, one uh, Minecraft ore and it's putting that on all six sides. So you can now <laughs> recreate Minecraft in vPython, which is not too bad of an idea for a future series maybe. So for example, if you want to upload your own, you just go to uh, here to upload. I put in the link for Imgur's uh, upload page. You can just copy this, paste it in here. And then you can place in any images that you want to use. So for example, let's suppose I wanted instead of Earth, let's suppose I want to create a map of Galarian. I can get my Galarian map up here. And then I just right click and click on copy image address. This is gonna get me that URL that has 
the um, that has the the dot png at the end there. So we'll comment this out. We'll have a sphere texture equals paste in the hyperlink. Notice you always want it to end with a JPEG or PNG or whatever your favorite file extension is. And then we'll press Control 2 to run. And there it is, Galarian in all of its beauty. It's also worth noting that you can assign a texture to one side of an object. So let's suppose, for example, I have a box and I want to give it a texture, but I only want that texture to show up on one edge of it. So for example, let's suppose I want to have the Minecraft diamond ore here just along one edge of it. What I can do is tell it that I want to specify a file given by this URL, and then I want to place it on just the right edge of the box. Uh, close up the texture argument there, close up the box argument there. You can use this syntax to get just one side of it to have the uh, to have the texture there. I wonder what happens if we repeat this and add another texture to, let's say, the left side. Is it, oh, is it only gonna run one of those or is it gonna run both of those? Nope, okay, it only takes the latest one. Okay, so you only get to do that once, it looks like. Uh, I don't know of another way to get that. If you figure out a way to get one texture on one side, one texture on another side, do let me know. And finally, I wanna highlight how you can mix texture and color. Let's suppose uh, we were using, let's pick a uh, let's pick a texture here. Let's suppose we use textures.rough. So if I use box with texture equals textures.rough. Oh, that doesn't need a quote. There we go. I can run this. It's putting this on the on the default white cube. If I were to change this thing's color to red, it's gonna process both of these. It's gonna assign a color of red and overlay this texture. And so you can get a rough texture there, right? So if I wanted to take, uh, you know, if I wanted to take the earth and, you know, make it, uh, you know, some, you know, pink shade or something like that, I could do that, right? So I could do textures dot earth color equals color dot magenta control two. And there we go. There's my, there's my, my, my pinkish uh, earth there. Let's turn that into a sphere just so we see what the earth would look like if it were covered in magenta. There we go. So that's how you can import textures into vPython. Again, you can use the built-in textures that vPython provides, or you can pull your own images from uh, any CORS-enabled site, uh, including imgur.com. So if you just get yourself an imgur account, you can start uh, overlaying any images you want on to your vPython simulations. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.